We will close the ministerial uh, meeting with a meeting on the Western Balkans and NATO's open door policy. NATO remains committed to the, to the vision of a Europe whole, free and at peace. We will discuss the progress made by Bosnia and Herzegovina, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and Georgia. Ukraine has also expressed its aspirations for membership. And I expect ministers will want to address that too. I think for uh, Skopje to decide its own path, it's for uh, uh, them to decide uh, and, uh, and uh, whether uh, it uh, joins NATO or not is for uh, uh, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and 29 uh, NATO allies to decide. No one else has the right to veto or to have a say in that uh, process. Uh, uh, the whole idea of that Russia will not accept that uh, some other countries join uh, uh, joins NATO, uh, join NATO is, 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 is in a way uh, an expression of the idea to establish some spheres of influence where big powers control uh, small neighbors. Uh, and that is uh, uh, contradicting everything NATO believes in, and that's the independent and sovereign right of all nations to decide their own path. When it comes to the name issue, that was one issue I discussed when I met with uh, Prime Minister Soran uh, Saev in uh, Skopje uh, not so many weeks ago. We had good discussions on that. Uh, I also spoke with Prime Minister Tsipras uh, and I uh, welcome and I uh, hope uh, that uh, the uh, dialogue which is now taking place between uh, Athens and Skopje can lead to a solution, uh, a mutual acceptable solution to the name issue because then we are ready to invite uh, Farum to become uh, a member of uh, the Alliance. Uh, we agreed that back in 20, 2008 and that decision still uh, stands.